So it is official, guys. I quit. Oh, man. <laughs> Hey, it's David Packer, and if you don't know me, I'm on a mission to lose 300 pounds. So, the title is correct. I did officially quit OMAD, and I'm gonna give you my reasons why it turned out not to be right for me, and maybe not right for you, or maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. So, we'll see. <laughs> so, I did OMAD for nearly exactly a month, so I feel like I got a pretty good time to get a grasp on how I feel about it and see how it worked for me. So, every week I was losing weight, but there were some downsides that I'm gonna get into that I just feel like it doesn't quite work for me. I'm not gonna dilly dally, so let's just dive right into the reasons. So reason number one is the lack of energy. So in the morning, if I wanted to go for a workout, do some manual labor, even just do some you know things around the house, I felt so low energy. In particular, if I was outside doing some sort of manual labor in the sun, I would get dizzy guys, I would be so weak. And so that's not normal for me. Usually I'm you know, relatively strong and able to do things. So I did not like that aspect of it. The lack of energy during the fast period. Reason number two that I'm quitting OMAD is that I did feel like for me mentally, it kind of built some selfishness into me. So when it came time for my meal, I didn't care about the prep for anybody else, the kids, the wife helping set dinner, whatever. I just was so focused on where's my food? I want my food, I'm so hungry and focused on me. So I didn't really like that part either. And of course that part doesn't have to come with it, but it was for me a side effect of how I felt on it. And reason number three that I quit OMAD is that it felt like I was binging. I talked to my doctor about it and she kind of agreed that it sounded like what I was doing was sort of binging. So 23 and a half hours fast, half hour where I was eating everything in sight. Like I was so hungry. And like I said, I was still losing weight. So it was working, but I was having junk food. I was having, and, and so maybe I wasn't doing it properly and having good nutrition for that one meal. But uh, it just, like I said, it felt like, oh, I only have this half hour window to do it. I'm gonna eat everything I can because I'm so hungry and I wanna be full until the next meal. So that kind of binging mindset I didn't like. So that being said though, intermittent fasting is still, I think, a great tool. And maybe if my window was larger, let's say if I had an eight hour fasting window, then maybe that would kind of fix that mentality I have of like, oh, I gotta binge right now. Because then it's a, a you know bigger window to work with. So those are the three reasons that I quit OMAD. So this past week, I've been just having back to my original plan of around 2,000, 2,200 calories per day. And that worked out well because I lost three pounds. I'm now down to 466, which makes it officially 75 pounds lost for the year. So really happy about that. And the other good news is that I was approved for my second sleep study tonight, guys. I'm going to sleep in Sun City in the sleep center and we'll find out, you know, what I need, what's the machine, what's the setup, what's the mask, all of it. So I will let you know. I also went to the gym at 1 a.m. last night so I could get some footage of just me. And I saw something on Instagram where a guy used footage like that and he made kind of a cool inspirational video with music and the speech and all that. So I think I wanna try something like that with that footage. So you should see a YouTube short. I'll also post on my Instagram under a minute uh, come out hopefully later this week and hopefully it turns out good. So, so that is it for this week guys. And, uh, thank you so much for watching.